So if we take a look at our anatomical model here, we have our ankle joint, we have the talus, which is the primary ankle bone, um, and then we also have your tibia and your fibula making up your distal tibia fibular joint, as well as your syndesmosis connecting that talus uh, to that tibia. We have a lot of ligaments that help stabilize the ankle joint here. The primary goal of these is to not allow uh, the anatomical foot to go into excessive movements like that external rotation where the toes are pouring outwards, uh, E version where the point where the whole foot is kind of bent uh, towards the outside as well as uh, dorsiflexion. Let's first start off with the lateral ankle ligaments. We have your uh, anterior talofibular ligaments in here, your calcaneofibular ligament here, as well as your posterior talofibular ligament. All these ligaments together uh, provide stability and prevent any normal lateral ankle sprain to happen. Uh, however, I do not believe these ligaments were as involved as potentially some other ones that we'll describe. More superiorly from these uh, lateral ligaments, we do have the uh, anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament here, as well as your interosseous membrane. Uh, both of these ligaments are supposed to help prevent those high ankle sprains. So we still have those two ligaments seen here. Uh, that excessive external rotation that was caused by the defender tackling Camp Scadaboo and the position of Camp Scadaboo's uh, lower extremity was in will cause that tibia and fibula wanting to detach from each other. Um, and that will cause that sort of high ankle sprain and the tear of these two type of ligaments. On the medial side, we also have uh, this large complex of ligaments called the deltoid ligaments. Once again, for Cam Scadaboo's type of injury, the way Cam's foot was placed, he was in an excessive amount of eversion. These ligaments help uh, prevent excessive amounts of eversion. However, with the weight of the Eagles defender and the way the foot was in a locked position, uh, that would cause these type of ligaments to potentially tear.